Whatever category storm is heading our way, the detailed data about it comes from a somewhat wild exercise, flying a plane through the hurricane. The Air Force and NOAA both do this and feedback all sorts of information that helps them and the first warning weather team determine what that storm will do next. Kelly and class takes us on board one of these hurricane hunters. We bring the radars and the data to the storm. Adam Abbott-Ball, aircraft commander for the NOAA Hurricane Hunters, tells us their P-3 Orion is so special because it has two radars on board, one at the bottom of the plane, the other at the tail. We basically just take an MRI of the storm as we fly through it, and that's really unique because there's only three planes in the world that have them, and they're all located at NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center in Lakeland, Florida. Um, and so that's a really cool capability, it's really unique, and it helps us just build and understand the structure of the storm as we fly through it. On board every Hurricane Hunter mission is a flight meteorologist guiding the pilots through the storm. I talked with meteorologist Jeremy D. Hart with the Air Force Reserve Reconnaissance Squadron about how his job is so different than mine. My primary job is to be a mission director. I need to find the center of the storm, essentially, and so I will literally be calling turns to the front of the aircraft, um, 10 degrees to the right, five degrees to the left, to kind of get us there. Both the NOAA Hurricane Hunters and the Air Force Hurricane Hunters provide crucial information for our hurricane forecasts. And that starts as early as the storm develops to right before it makes landfall. We'll fly anywhere up from maybe 12 hours apart in the storm to as close as three hours apart um, if it's getting ready to make landfall. We're on those three hourly missions we pretty much have a plane in the air 24 hours a day. You know, one plane will be leaving the storm and another one will pass by it flying to the storm. So we get all that accurate information right up until landfall. Each plane collects data from instruments on the outside of the aircraft, but they also release a device called a drop sonde. It collects information like temperature, dew point and pressure through the atmosphere as it falls from the plane to the sea surface. That data collected is then fed directly into the weather models. And that data improves the track forecast by 10 to 20 percent. 10 to 20 percent doesn't sound like a lot, but that can make a huge difference when you're talking about evacuations of coastal communities, when you're talking about preserving life and property. And so these planes play a critical role in, in getting that information and refining that track and intensity forecast. Cam Tran has more on the technology the Hurricane Hunters drop and the data collected.